Is our universe infinite? Sooner or later, this question will surely arise for many of you. Unfortunately, modern science is not able to give an unambiguous answer to this question, but it can confidently assert that the beginning of the universe was. The world as we know it has been growing and developing for 13 whole, eight-tenths of a billion years, emerging from a state that has become known as a cosmological singularity. To investigate this process, astronomers have to literally look into the past. When we talk about the boundaries of the universe, we mean only those limits that are visible to us. This visible region is called metagalaxy, or the observable universe. But what lies behind it is possible that there is simply an infinite void or another universe that is one of hundreds of thousands of others like ours. I am glad to see you on the Space Stop channel. In this video, we will make the longest journey in the world and try to find out what is hiding at the edge of the universe. Before I start, I want to ask you to subscribe to the channel. Every video is a huge effort, and we appreciate your support. Well, I'm asking you to fasten your seatbelts, because we're getting started. The statement that the universe has boundaries is in itself considered one of those great ideas that can radically change our perception of the world. Something similar took place back in 1543, when Nicolaus Copernicus proved that the Earth is not located in the center of the cosmos. The next breakthrough occurred in the 20th century, when Edwin Hubble showed the world that galaxies are moving away from each other. This prompted the idea that the universe did not exist forever and was formed as a result of a certain event, the Big Bang. Today we are sure that the dimensions of the world in which we live are much larger than we can imagine. The search for an answer to the question of its boundaries will lead to another scientific breakthrough. At the moment, scientists can only talk about the boundaries within which objects are visible. This region is also called the observable universe, that is, its part, which is the absolute past in relation to the observer. The cosmic horizon is the boundary of the observable universe. Objects on the horizon become infinitely shifted to the red side, that is, they are constantly moving further away. The number of galaxies within the observable universe is estimated at more than 500 billion, and this number regularly increases as the research equipment becomes more advanced. But how big is the observable region of the universe today? The distance to the most distant observed object is approximately 14 billion parsecs in all directions. Thus, the observable universe is a sphere with a diameter of about 93 billion light years with a center inside the solar system. That is, it is centered on the observer. The area is 350 quintillion cubic meters. It should be noted that the light emitted by the farthest observable objects travels a distance of 13.8 billion light years before reaching us. However, the distance to these objects has increased significantly due to the incessant expansion of the universe. This process is the result of the presence of matter and energy in space, filling space and time. As long as there is matter in space, there is a gravitational force, so the universe is either contracting under the influence of gravity or expanding under the influence of dark matter. It is also worth noting that there is no single center of expansion of the universe, just as there is no space into which the universe could expand beyond its borders. This process occurs with matter and space at any point, everywhere and at all times. We do not physically feel this because the force holding our atoms and molecules together does not allow us to burst under the influence of the expansion of space. This can be compared to baking a loaf of bread with raisins for galaxies and similar formations, and oh for cosmic matter. It is estimated that the distance to the farthest observable objects today is approximately 14 gigaparsecs, or 46 billion light years. The most distant star system in relation to the Earth is a galaxy called GNZ 11. Its light reached us more than 13 and a half billion years after its formation, which means that this object formed less than 400 million years after the Big Bang. However, due to the constant expansion of the universe, today's distance to GNZ 11 is approximately 32 billion light years. Someone may object that the speed at which it is moving away exceeds the speed of light, but this does not contradict the special theory of relativity. 
since it is not matter that is being removed, but the space between two objects becomes larger. Presumably, this object is one of the very first galaxies and probably the closest star cluster to the edge of the observable universe. If a person could move freely from one world to another, it is in this galaxy that we could learn about the origin of our world in more detail. What we call metagalaxy probably began to expand immediately after Herbert. Theoretically, the boundaries of metagalaxy may well reach the cosmic singularity, that is, it can show us what the world was like before the Big Bang, but in practice it is the relic radiation that is the limit of the observable. It is this radiation that emits the most distant object in the universe that has ever been observed by modern science. This radiation creates something like a barrier to our vision. This happened about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. That is, at a time when the universe cooled down so much that atoms appeared. Simply put, it is similar to the image of the cosmos in his childhood, where he is depicted before the formation of the first stars. It is likely that the universe extends infinitely beyond this barrier, and it is there that its hypothetical boundaries should be sought. Objects located behind this barrier are called differently objects of the multiverse. Science today is not able to define these bodies with any detail. However, assuming that the universe continues to expand, we can conclude that the objects we can observe now will sooner or later disappear from our field of vision. If the accelerating expansion of the universe continues indefinitely, then the galaxies outside our supercluster will sooner or later disappear over the horizon as a result, becoming invisible to us. Any form of communication outside the observable universe will become impossible, and any contact between objects will be lost. The Earth, the solar system, the Milky Way and our supercluster will be available for mutual observation, while the rest of the universe will be moving away. Hypothetical worlds may exist outside of the areas we observe. They arise as a result of phase transitions of the physical vacuum. Alternatively, there may be objects formed from inhomogeneities of the relic radiation located closest to the particle horizon. The question of the objects of the multiverse remains a bone of contention among scientists, generating an overwhelming number of pseudoscientific guesses. Anyway, most researchers agree on the infinity of our universe, although they interpret it differently. Some of them claim that our world is multidimensional, which makes our three-dimensional universe just one of its layers. Others tend to believe in the theory of the multiverse, in which we are a tiny part of an infinite set, while outside the observable region of the universe there may be a portal to other worlds. Some cosmic theories suggest the existence of a so-called event horizon. According to this concept, we will never be able to look beyond the event horizon because the speed at which photons are moving away from us will be higher than the speed at which the observable universe is expanding. According to this theory, all the galaxies surrounding us inevitably move beyond the event horizon. It will look as if time has stopped in the... We will observe how they endlessly move beyond the observed boundaries, but never completely disappear from view. Be that as it may, modern science cannot give an, an ambiguous answer to this question. Although the situation will change overnight as soon as we develop more advanced equipment for observation, the universe may turn out to be something like a sphere, and traveling through it may resemble traveling on the spherical surface of our Earth. However, given the scale it reaches, such a prospect seems impossible. It would take humans 46 billion years to reach the edge of the observable universe even if we were traveling at the speed of light. By the time we reached the designated point, he would have traveled the same distance, and we would have had to make a similar journey. It is likely that there are no large objects outside the observable universe, and if we looked there, we would see just a homogeneous cloud of helium, hydrogen, and several other elements. However, we will probably never be able to discover the origins of our world and will forever remain in the position of a person striving for the horizon. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if that's really the case, give a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the new video.